Hi everyone, I'm Kat and welcome to my channel, Naturally Beautiful Girl. I had promised a while ago that when I reached a thousand subscribers that I would go ahead and do my makeup collection video. So you guys are lucky because today is the day. So today you are going to be seeing my makeup collection and also because I've hit a thousand subscribers, this is also going to be a giveaway as well. If you're new to my channel and especially if you found my channel through Logical Harmony, welcome to my channel. I talk about green and eco and cruelty free beauty, most of which is also vegan as well. I wanted to do a giveaway because I am only here because of you guys. You guys are the reason why I have a thousand subscribers because a thousand of you have decided to subscribe to my channel and watch my videos. And so I only think it is right to give back to you. So I'm going to be doing a giveaway. I will have all the details of the giveaway and how to enter the giveaway in the description box down below. I am also going to insert a picture of what I'm going to be giving away. If you want to see my makeup collection, be sure to continue watching. Also, as a disclaimer, I've never really filmed a video like this before and I'm not an expert videographer, so I'm going to do the best that I can, but if it's not perfect, if the footage is a little wacky, I apologize. I'm doing the best I can with my setup that I have. Also, I am a beauty YouTuber. As weird as it sounds saying that to me, it still seems surreal to say that. So I do have a lot more makeup than I did before I started doing YouTube because I want to test out and try products for you guys. So I do purchase a lot of products for that reason. I believe everything, more or less everything that you are seeing are things that I have purchased for myself. I have not really been sent much in the way of makeup. For PR, most of what I have received has been skincare, which is great. I have purchased these products myself. You don't need this much stuff. Whenever I try out a product and I don't like it, I do try and pass it along to some of my friends. Um, that way the products are not just being thrown out or going to waste. With all that said, I hope you enjoy. So what you're looking at here is part of a drawer across from my husband's dresser. So this is directly across from me when I'm sitting and it is a drawer of an Ikea desk. And this is really where a lot of my makeup is stored because I live in a tiny apartment. Well, okay, it's not ridiculously tiny by like New York standards, but it's a pretty small apartment. So I have to keep my makeup pretty condensed, which is why this drawer is not as organized as I would like it to be because I'd actually like more space to be able to spread out and properly organize things, but I physically do not have enough space in this apartment. What you see is what you get. So over here on the side here is where most of my eyeshadow palettes are. So as you can see here, I have one of my favorites, which is the Ere Perez um, Pretty Palette. One of my favorites. Talked about it a lot. Um, underneath here, I have a Lily Lolo, the Filthy Rich Palette, which I don't love, I actually have been thinking about decluttering it, but I have not yet. So this might actually not be in my collection that much longer. I just don't like it and I just don't reach for it. There are better palettes I have. This one here is the Pacifica Pink Nudes palette, a nice matte staple palette, also very easy to get your hands on and quite affordable as well. This is actually really special and near and dear to my heart. It's one of the first palettes I ever picked up in Green and Eco Beauty, and this is from Gabriel Cosmetics, and it is their, um, let's see, it's called their Classic Eyeshadow Trio. It's just these nice matte brown shades. Um, yeah, first, like, really the first product I picked up in Green and Eco Beauty. Really nice. Um, I got this from Target, actually. And, of course, I have some Pretty Naked palettes. I first have the Pretty Naked 2, um, which is the first 100% pure palette that I got. And then I also have the Pretty Naked um, 1 palette. So this is the original Pretty Naked palette. I like the 2 better than the 1. I've talked about this quite a bit, but um, yeah. Also really nice there. Uh, all the colors are done with purely fruit pigments, which is really nice. Next over here, I have two Fit Glow eyeshadow trios. And as far as I can tell, these are being discontinued which um, I'm really annoyed at Fit Glow for that. They've discontinued a lot of their makeup and then reformulated it. But the problem is they don't really tell you that they're discontinuing it and it really frustrates me as a 
beauty blogger because I want to stay on top of products. I want to use products that you guys can actually get your hands on. And sadly now you can't actually get your hands on these, which is really sad because I actually love them. This is their Sun Glow Trio. Beautiful. If you can get your hands on this, definitely go ahead and pick this up. And this is their Smoke Lines Eyeshadow Trio, which I don't love quite as much, but it's a really nice matte eyeshadow trio. Okay, this here is the Root Wanderlust Eyeshadow Trio. Um, you can actually purchase these shades individually now, but um, you can also buy them as a trio and they come in this nice little Z palette. Really like these Root Eyeshadows are a really great formula. Here I have the Found Highlighting Palette. Love this. Absolutely love it. And I also have their Found Sculpt and Define um, palette, which also is really nice. I just don't do a ton of contouring nowadays, but I really do like this. Um, this light, this medium shade here works really well on my skin tone, and this is a really nice powder if you wanna do some setting or a little bit of highlighting. This is a really nice shade to use. Now we've got some bronzers. This is the Well People um, Bio Bronzer Powder. I got this as a sample from Credo Beauty. I talked about in my haul. The color is not bad. It's a little bit reddish on me, but I can make it work. It's quite nice. This here is the Terry Mia Hira Bronzer in Explore. I don't think you can get this now, but this is this is a perfect bronzer for me and for my skin tone. It's got a little bit of shimmer in it. It's one of the few bronzers that's like actually good for my skin tone. Uh, this one I also really like. Um, the It's kind of falling apart. This is from on Skincare Cosmetics. The glass fell out of it and I tried to tape it back but it doesn't really work. This actually Reagan sent me because she didn't like it but I actually really like this on my skin tone. This is the Han Skincare Cosmetics Malibu bronzer. The Han Skincare Cosmetics make really great products. I have one of their eyeshadows. I love it. This is actually a 100% pure gemmed luminizer. This is in the shade Rose Gold, which it's too dark to be a highlighter for me, but perfect bronzer. If you want just a little bit of bronze, a little bit glow to your skin, this is amazing if you have fair skin. Okay, this is a blush, but it didn't fit where my other blushes are. Problems of not having a lot of space. This is the Found Blush in the shade Peach Glow. Talked about this a lot. I love it. It's a baked blush. It's not super pigmented, but it really does give my cheeks a nice peachy glow. And I'm wearing this in the intro of this video. All right, two more Terry Mihira products. This one here is a highlighting duo. Um, this is rather old. This is this came in one of her subscription boxes. This is the Brilliant Illuminating Duo. And this shade here is like the most beaming highlight on me. This gold shade works really well as an eyeshadow, but I really like this one. Wish she still sold this, it's amazing. If you can get your hands on this, this shade here is awesome. Also, wish she still sold this. This is quite, quite old. This is her Believe eyeshadow palette. And this is actually one of the first products I purchased from her and fell in love with her products. All these eyeshadows are amazing. I love it. I don't use it that often now because you guys can't get your hands on it, which makes me really sad, but it's amazing and the quality is great. This is the Ilia Eyeshadow Quad in Prima. I got this because I've been really impressed by a lot of um, Ilia products. I've been trying this out. I'm going to be talking about this soon in a Ilia video. I'm going to do a video about kind of all the different Ilia products I have, but um, I'm quite impressed by it. It's not the best eyeshadow palette, but it's quite solid and I really do like it. Also quite accessible. You can get this at Sephora online. Of course I have some Mother Bears handmade eyeshadows. This is her Echo Park Quad. Love this, adore this. Really can't get enough of it. Um, yeah, definitely one of my favorites. If you haven't checked this out, do. Also, if you've been interested in her palettes, they are such nice quality as well. It has a really nice mirror in it. This is kind of one of my favorite um, palettes that you can get. So if you're looking for an empty palette that you wanna put shadows in, definitely check these out as well. Okay, now I have my two found palettes. I have this one here, which is the Nude 10 eyeshadow palette, and this one here, which is the Blush 20 palette. Love the Nude 10, obsessed with it. The Blush 20, I don't like nearly as much. So if you're looking to get one, definitely go for the Nude 10. I would skip on the Blush 20. But this is incredible, especially given the quality and the price. So I've scooted you over a little bit. We're still in the same drawer. 
right here is where I have all my concealers. So right here I have the Late Cream Concealer in Porcelain. I This is a sample size of it. I love it. I use it under my eyes. Great concealer. I have my RMS Uncover Up in the shade 00. I really need to just get the one shade lighter in this. This is just a little bit too deep for my skin tone. Um, it's very full coverage. It does contain coconut oil, but this shade is just wrong. They're shade matched at Filane. I should, I knew better. I should have gone down a shade. Um, yeah, if you're fair, go for the 000, not the 00 shade. One of my ride or die concealers, this is the Alima Pure Cream Concealer in the shade Pearl. I use this under my eyes. Love it. Love that the packaging is refillable. You can refill the pan and keep the compact. This here, I keep forgetting to kind of mention. This is the Eau Naturel Color Corrector, and this is their pink one. Um, I don't always use this because I find sometimes if I get too much concealer under my eyes, it can get really kind of crepey and heavy. But if I have really bad dark circles, this does definitely help. So if I'm really short on sleep, you know, grad school problems, this definitely does help if I put this on and then go on top with like the Alima Pure or the Elate. Um, here I also have the 100% Pure Long Last Concealer in Alpine Rose. Um, this is quite old. I probably need to toss it just because of the age, but it's okay. Not my favorite. Not as full coverage as I would like, but it's, it's decent. Here I have my Hint Beauty Duet Concealer, which I've worn the label off. Um, yep, I also use this to conceal acne, so it's a really good full coverage concealer if you need to conceal some sort of blemish. All right, right over here we have a lot of face powders. This is the Found Cosmetics Mattifying Powder Foundation, and I have the shade Fair. I do believe they make this in porcelain. I think I made a mistake when I was purchasing it and purchased Fair, but I think this does come in porcelain, which I need to get because this is a bit too dark for me. Next, I have my Ride or Die Setting Powder, which is the RMS Beauty Unpowder. I have the untinted one. Um, it has lasted me a really long time. I'm starting to get a little bit low, but if you've not tried this out and you need a heavy duty setting powder, this will do the trick. Though if you have super dry skin, it does dry you out, so I don't recommend it. But if you have oily skin and things crease and move around on you, this will lock everything in place. It is kind of mind blowing. Next, I have the Terry Mia Hira Under and Over Powder, which I use to um, set my eyeshadow primer and help things blend out in the crease. I have the Root Powder Foundation in N2, and this is really nice, but the issue I have with it is it definitely looks kind of shimmery and glittery on my face, and I have used it wet as well, and that is a really nice foundation, but I feel like you burn through this powder so fast if you're using it wet, so um, then I just end up not really using it. So I still have it, it's a good shade match, but um, especially with oily skin, I don't like that it looks glittery on my, on my skin when I use it just as a powder, and I don't like how fast you use it up when you use it wet. I have the Found Translucent Loose Setting Powder, and this is okay. It's not that great. The more I use it, the less I like it, but I haven't had it for that long, so I'm not quite ready to get rid of it yet, but I don't think it will become a staple in my collection. This I actually rather like. So this is the Terry Mia Here Prep and Set Powder, once again, I don't think you can get your hands on this, but it is really nice if I need a little bit more coverage under my eyes. So say I set my concealer and then wish I'd put more on, I will then use this powder kind of on top to build up a little bit of coverage. And then my Ride or Die Alima Pure Satin Matte Foundation. Of course, I have one of these. This is in the shade Cool 2. Never am without one of these. I love it. If you haven't tried it, definitely try it. So over here, I have mostly highlights and one blush. Um, the blush I have over here is the Late Blush in Love. This is a cream blush. Um, they've read on the packaging. It's now in bamboo packaging, but I really love the shade. One of my favorite cream blushes. That's why the packaging looks so beat up because I use it all the time. I also have the Late Highlighter in Lucent, which I had very high hopes for given the blush, but it's just not my favorite. Um, I've found better cream highlighters that I like more, um, but I do hold on to it because it is nice. It's just not that intense of a highlight. This guy here I've talked about, this is the Found Radiant Illuminating Drops. For me and my skin tone, it just really doesn't work that well. Um, once again, I haven't had them that long, but I really just do need to declutter this because I really don't like it and I'm not really using it. So I'm actually gonna hold this out and probably declutter this. Okay, next I have the Ritual de Fee highlighter in Ghostlight. Um, this highlight is insane. 
Like if you're looking for a cream highlight, this one really is amazing. I love it. It's kind of got a purple tint to it, but it's just beautiful on the skin. And then I have my ride or die highlight, which is the Root White Gold Illuminator. Seriously, if you guys haven't checked this out, definitely do. Everyone loves this illuminator and there's a reason why. It is beaming, it is beautiful, it is affordable. Yeah, it's just got everything going for it. So definitely an amazing highlighter. Okay, so I feel like you can tell what my weaknesses are, which are definitely eyeshadows and now blushes. So these are all blushes back here. Um, first I have the Burt's Bees Blush and Shy Pink. Love this, definitely one of my favorite powder blushes. And Burt's Bees, doesn't test on animals themselves. Our parent company does. I like Bird's Bees because they're really accessible. So I feel I have mixed feelings about it, but I already own it, so I am using it. I also have the Terry Mia Hero blush in the shade Alive, which uh, is a beautiful hot pink shade. I really love it. Um, I wish this was also something you could get your hands on because it's a really lovely blush. Also, this here is the 100% Pure Blush in Chiffon. Also lovely. All the 100% pure blushes are amazing. The pigmentation is amazing. The colors are amazing. They're just awesome. This is a cream sample kit that I got from Au Natural. And I really like the cream blush and the cream bronzer in it. So I hold on to it. But yeah, that's just what this is. And that's how I found out that I like their foundation is by trying this out. So I really do recommend getting one of these sample kits from Au Natural. They're really great. I also have the Glory Boon blush in the shade Soft Peach, which is this beautiful peach color. Glory Boon, this packaging is awesome too. Like, isn't that beautiful? They were kind of, were on hiatus for a while, but now they're back in production. I really need to try out more of the Glory Boon products and kind of talk about them. But yeah, I really love this blush. Um, amazing, amazing blush. This guy here is a new addition in my collection. I got this in a Petty War box. This is the Juice Beauty Blush and Flush. It's a cream blush, really great. Um, yeah, I like this. Next I have the 100% Pure um, Cream Blush and Peachy. Also a really nice blush, really pigmented. You have to go in very carefully with this, but it is a nice cream blush. Also, it's a little bit drier of a formula, so if you're looking for something that's not as creamy, this is a good option. I also have the Found Cream Blush, uh, and this is in the shade Berry Flush. Really nice, like this. It's affordable, which is great. Definitely a good blush. This here is the... Honey Bee Gardens blush in the shade Breathless. I don't reach for it as much now. I used to reach for it more earlier. Now I have blushes I like better, but I still hold on to it. I may eventually get rid of this, um, but for right now I still have it. I have a sample of the Root Savey blush. It's a beautiful blush. Um, I'm not gonna open it because the powder will go everywhere, but I haven't purchased a full size because I just have a lot of blushes, as you can see, and I really didn't need any more blushes. I also have the two of the Ritual de Fee blushes. This one here is in the shade Rapture. That's what it looks like. Um, these are not vegan. They do contain carmine, just to know about that. And then this one here in the shade Desire, which looks terrible in the pan, but looks amazing on. Moving on over here, we have foundation. So this is the Fit Glow Vita Active Foundation. It's a nice one. I like it. I also have here the Burt's Bees Goodness Glows Foundation. If you want a more glowy, dewy foundation, this was nice. I mentioned before one of my friends, this is her ride or die foundation now that I told her about it. So it is a very good foundation. Also, it comes in a shade that's actually fair enough for really fair people like me. Um, one of my ride or die foundations is the Au Naturel Stick Foundation. Seriously, you guys, if you haven't checked this out, do. I'm also wearing this in the intro of my video today. I love it. Can't say enough good things about it. This is the Found Nourishing Liquid Foundation. This is a more matte foundation. So if you're looking for a more matte foundation from the drugstore, this is a good one. Also comes in a light enough shade. My other ride or die foundation is the Ilia True Skin Serum Foundation. Also really love this as well. The formula really blew me away. Over here, I have a sample of the Fat Active Fit Glow Foundation. Back over here in this corner, I have the Glory Boon Foundation in Fair Slash Light. Um, Aaron gifted this to me. I really do like it. If you'd like me to do a review demo of it, let me know. I can do that for you. Also, I remembered while I was filming this that I also have the 100% Pure um, Superfruits Healthy Foundation. I had it over by where I was filming. 
But this foundation used to be my ride or die favorite, but now I like the Unnatural and the Ilia one better and I'm just trying to finish this up. It's super matte and I've decided I just don't love matte foundations on my skin, even though it is oily. I prefer a more dewy foundation, so just not my favorite. But the shade is good, this is Alpine Rose. And then I have some hair stuff over here because, you know, I'm an actual person and I have to store my hair supplies like hair ties and bobby pins somewhere and they live in my makeup drawer. I always have the My Couture blotting sheets. Love these. Um, yeah, if you haven't checked them out, do. I have one of the Suntegrity um, tinted sunscreens in the shade Fair, so if I know I'm going to be in the sun, I'll put this on before putting on my foundation. And um, my deodorant also lives here, and right now I'm using up my last of the native deodorants. So here is where I store my mascara, my eyeshadows that are not in pan form or in a palette, also some makeup brushes, and in the drawers are all my lip products. This is the Ilia Pure Mascara. I've been testing this one out. You'll hear about this soon. I have the Well People Expressionist Mascara. One of my ride or dies also have one of these on hand. I have the Well People Expressionist Eyeliner, which is probably my favorite liquid eyeliner in Green and Eco Beauty. Um, this one works really well on me, even though I don't wear it that often. Really love the formula of this. Uh, this here, this giant tube here, is the Fit Glow Beauty Good Lash Plus Mascara. So this has nearly reached the end of its life. I would not repurchase it, did not like this. Just way overpriced for what it is, and it's too dry and too clumpy, and the blonde is too big. This is the 100% Pure Green Tea Fiber Brow. Oh, I love using this in my brows. I have my beloved Alima Pure Eye Primer. Can't live without this. Love it. If you haven't tried it, definitely you need to. This is the Pacifica Dream Big Mascara. Um, I actually warmed up to this one. I really didn't like it at first, but as it, the formula has dried out, I've come to like it more, which is why you need to give mascaras some time before you make a judgment on them. Okay, so here I have the Honey Bee Gardens Eyeliner in Belgian Chocolate. I like this. I'll just use it to deepen up my lower lash line. This is the Burt's Bees eyebrow pencil and it's taking me forever to use up but I don't really like it. It's too creamy for my eyebrows. Here I have the Found Shape and Define brow pencil. Love this. This is my ride or die eyebrow pencil. I have two of the Alima Pure um, eyeliners. I have one in black and one in blue. I haven't actually used these a lot but um, so far they're nice. I really do like Alima Pure products. Here I have two of the Ritual Defi Ash and Ember eye sets. I have um, a gold color and more of a champagne color. I really like these. These are some of the only cream eyeshadows I like. I believe these are vegan. I would double check, but I believe they are. Next I have the Han Skincare Cosmetics Eyeshadow in the shade Sunset. This is one of my favorites. Um, I like to use it all over the lid. It is beautiful. If you guys haven't checked this out, definitely do. Next I have a Terry Mia Hair Eyeshadow and it's this matte brown color. What's it called? It's called Serenity. Um, I've thought about decluttering it. I haven't. I probably will, but for right now I'm holding on to it. I have a couple of the Silk Naturals um, loose eyeshadows. They're nice. They're just not my favorite. And I find them for some reason because they're loose. I just don't end up reaching for them that much. Also here I have a number of Root loose eyeshadow samples. This here is definitely one of the best Terry Mia here eyeshadows and is in the shade Inferno. This is the Modern Minerals. I believe it's what they call a lip cream in the shade Joyful. The packaging of this thing is so oddly shaped that I can't put it with the rest of the lip products. It's too tall. But I really do love this. This is a great product and I reach for it quite a bit. It's just kind of an odd shaped packaging. Okay, so this drawer here is mostly pink lipstick shades, which there are quite a few. This here is the Cloven Hello Lipstick in Blooming. This is the Pacifica Sun and Lip Care SPF 30. I believe this is in the shade Peach. And if you're looking for affordable sun protection for your lips, definitely check these out. This is one of the matte lipsticks from 100% Pure, and this is in the shade Prickly Pear. This is one of my favorite lipsticks. This is the 100% Pure um, Fruit Pigment Pomegranate. Whatever, one of their regular lipsticks in the shade Foxglove. Also one of my favorite lipsticks, this is the RMS lipstick in Pretty Vacant. This is Red Apple Lipstick Mabel, also one of my favorite lipsticks. This formula is one of the best I've ever found. And if you can't tell, I love Clove and Hallow. 
Um, here's another one, and this one is in the shade Desert Rose. I'm wearing this in the introduction to this video. The No Natural lipstick, and this is in the shade Innocence. Another lovely pink. If you can't tell, I love my pink lipsticks. And another Cloven Hallow. This is probably my favorite shade. This is the shade Ballerina Slippers, which I have worn down to a little nub. This is the Eau Naturelle Sustain in On Point, also a really great staple. This is the Pacifica Plushes Lipstick in the shade Breathless, very similar in color to the Eau Naturelle. I just like to keep both on hand. These are super old, 100% lipstick, perfect naked palette and perfect naked pink, um, like pencil lipstick things. I'm not even sure if 100% Pure makes these anymore, but they're really nice and they're quite long wearing and very comfortable. I have the Ilia lipstick in Funnel of Love, which um, a lot of you guys love it when I wear this. It's kind of the perfect coral color. So if you're looking for a perfect kind of corally peachy lipstick, this seems to be it. This here is probably my favorite Ilia lipstick formula and one of my favorite formulas overall. This is the lip crayon in Dress You Up. Or this is the Ritual de Fee lipstick in Hex. It is a nice kind of muted mauve pink. I don't think this is vegan. I don't think they're the Ritual de Fee lipsticks are vegan. Um, I need to check, but I don't think they are. I have the Root Pretty Balm in the shade Gossip, which is kind of a balm that's this really nice hot pink color really like this. I just don't, I forget to wear it. I need to wear this more. I also have the Glory Boon lipstick in Soft Coral. It pairs really nicely with their blush in Summer Peach. Um, yeah, it's just a nice coral pinky um, lipstick. Next I have the Spila liquid lipstick and this is in the shade um, Flirt. I probably actually need to get rid of this. I don't like it at all. It's a matte liquid lipstick but it makes my lips look like a raisin and the Cloven Hello Lip Velvet formula does not do that to me, but this one certainly does. The drawer here has mostly reds or kind of more intense hot pink lipsticks. The first one here is the Ritual de Fee Lipstick in Oracle. Um, I got this in the Safe and Chic box. I do not like the color of this. It is way too brown for me. This is the Terry Mia Hira Lipstick in Liberate. Love this, but also you just can't get your hands on it, which is sad because it's really pretty. This is the Ilya um, Lip Tint in Arabian Nights. Uh, I've talked about this before. Really, really pretty red um, like lip tint. Uh, talking about amazing matte liquid lipsticks, this is one of the Cloven Howl lipsticks in the shade Fiesta. This is bomb. Like if you want a matte liquid lipstick in Green and Eco Beauty that's cruelty free vegan is has pretty good ingredients, this is your lipstick, and this shade is amazing. Actually, all the shades I've tried so far are amazing, but this one really is. I love red, so this is great. This is um, Red Apple Lipstick in the shade Barcelona. Really pretty kind of brick um, brownie red. Perfect for summertime. This is one of the 100% Pure Lip Glazes in the shade Elderberry. I love this, I love the formula. I don't know why more people don't talk about it. This here is the Eau Naturelle Lipstick in the shade um, Cha Cha. Also really awesome, nice red. Uh, this is the Fit Glow Lip Cream in shade Love. Watch the packaging here. That's so cool. Uh, really pretty red, really creamy, a little bit too creamy. It kind of bleeds on you a bit, so you definitely need a lip liner with this. So this is the Ritual de Fee Lipstick in Love and Madness. This really beautiful, bright kind of berry color. Love this. Also don't think this is vegan. This here is the Root Lipstick in the shade Jenny. It is one of my favorite fall lipsticks. It's this beautiful kind of purpley color. I need to get more Root lipsticks. This is a great, great formula, really creamy. I have two more of the Cliff and Hello Lip Velvets. This one here is in the shade Uptown, which is very similar in shade to Root Jenny. And this one here is a new one I have in the shade Road Trip. It's this beautiful hot pink. Love it. Here we have one of the Noto Botanics um, Benet Tint. I can't remember what color it is. It is the red shade. I don't know what the name of it is. It doesn't say on here. I really like this because it is a it's like tinted lip balm, but it's pepperminty, so it feels super nice on the lips. I love peppermint uh, lip products, so this is great. I have three lip liners. I have the Red Apple Lipstick Lip Liner in Barely Pink. I also have the Eau Natural Lip Liner in Cha Cha. It matches the lipstick. It's red. And I have the Honey Bee Gardens um, Lip Liner in Fantasy. 
These two, the Barely Pink and Fantasy, are pretty much the same shade. I swatched them together somewhere. I don't remember where, but somewhere I have swatched these two together. And I do have to say though that the formula on the Red Apple Lipstick one is the best. In fact, out of all these, the Red Apple Lipstick formula for their lip liner is incredible. So if you need a lip liner, just go for the Red Apple Lipstick one. The final drawer in here are lip glosses. So I have these two, which are kind of glittery lip glosses. This is the um, Pacifica Crystal Punk Holographic Lip Gloss um, in the shade Spaced Out. Really nice, very shimmery, very sticky though. This is the 100% Pure Gemmed Lip Gloss in the shade Rainbow Aura. These two are very, very similar in the look they give. You could kind of use either one. I believe the Gems Lip Gloss though is less sticky than the Pacifica. This guy here is an Alima Pure Lip Tint in the shade, the shade Honey. Um, it's okay, it doesn't really do much. It's just kind of like a sheer lip tint on me. Um, it really doesn't do much in terms of color. I don't know. It's probably the only thing I found from Alima Pure that I'm just kind of so-so on. This here is one of the ridiculously expensive Fit Glow Beauty Lip Serums in the shade Nudie, but I love this. It is actually worth the price. It is one of the few lip gloss formulas that I actually really love and enjoy wearing. Definitely amazing. And all of you that have tried it out on my recommendation have also said that you love it. So it makes me feel a little better that I'm not recommending a ridiculously expensive product that's not actually worth it. So here, I'm not actually gonna take all these out. Um, these are the six Cloven Hello lip glazes. And at first I was kind of so-so on them, but the more I've used them, the more I like them. I actually have all six shades. I am going to be doing a swatch video of all six of them on my lips. Um, it either has gone up already or it will be going up, depends on my schedule and how fast I turn videos around. This is the Marie Nady um, lip gloss in the shade Tickled. It's okay, uh, it's a nice neutral pink color, so I hold on to it. This guy here, I really like. This is from True Moringa. This is like a tinted lip balm thing, but I I like it because it gives some color to lips, but I really like about it is that it is super moisturizing on my lips and makes my lips feel amazing when I put this on. So I like it more for the actual moisturizing, hydrating properties and the color. Yeah, so I kind of use it just like a regular lip balm, but it does have some tint, obviously. These here are samples. I have not tried this. This is the Sweet Pea Lip Gloss from Red Apple Lipstick. This is one of the Vapor Siren lipstick samples um, in the shade Torrid. Also, I haven't tried this. This here is one of the Hint um, Beauty Libra lip glosses, a sample of it. I really love this. I actually would like to get more of the Hint Beauty uh, lip glosses. I really like the formula of them. I was really surprised by how much I liked it, so I definitely would be interested in trying more of these out. Actually, I'd be interested in trying out more from Hint Beauty in general. I've only tried out their concealer and their sun prep, and I really liked both of them. So, well, obviously I tried out the lip gloss too, but I would also, I would just like to try out more for the brand. We are really nearly at the end. I have an empty Terry Mia Hira Z palette. Um, I believe some Mother Bear's handmade jars are going to be finding a new home in here soon. So yeah, stay tuned for that video. That's gonna be fun. I'm gonna be definitely getting some new Mother Bear's handmade eyeshadows, which are amazing and I already love them. So I was excited to get more in my collection. This is a Sephora Z palette filled with blushes, bronzers, and highlights, all from Terry Miyahira. Um, that's where all these came from. I don't actually reach for this that often, partly because I forget about that I own this palette, and also partly because I just don't use Terry Miyahira products that often. Because like I said, I like to use products that you guys can actually get your hands on. This here is my giant Z palette with all of my um, pan eyeshadows. So I did organize these by colors. You can see I'm actually very proud of this. Um, so most of them are either from Root, Terry May Hira, Mother Bear's Handmade, a few from Honey Bee Gardens, but mostly Root and Mother Bear's Handmade. Yeah, I guess a number of Terry May Hira. So that's where most of these are from. So, or actually all of these are from those brands. So yeah. Um, definitely love the Root and Mother Bear's Handmade eyeshadows. They're my, probably my favorite like loose pan eyeshadow, loose pan. They're probably my favorite like single pan eyeshadows that I've encountered in Green and Ego Beauty. The pigmentation on them are amazing. They're very blendable, just really, really great eyeshadows. The Terry May Hero ones are very hit or miss. Like some of them are really good and some of them are really bad. So it's just kind of hit or miss on those. Okay, so we're just gonna pan over here for a second. 
This here is where a few other odds and ends of makeup go. This is mainly backup. So I have things like a Kaya Naturals um, deodorant. I also have Great in Skin Care Super Sensitive Face Foam, some Honest Hazel Eye Patches, some travel size deodorants, um, some, oh, where are these from? These are from Evolve H shampoo samples. Here I also have, oops, so here are some things I've collected for the giveaway that will be in this video. Some makeup brushes. Um, I have an empty Osea Sea Minerals Mist container, the travel size, so I can decant into that. I have an Alima Pure Cream Concealer and Alima Pure um, Satin Matte Foundation, a backup of the O Natural Stick Foundation, a new Evolution mascara that I got in Safe Cheek Box, haven't tried it out yet, two Sun Tegrity um, face tints, and also a Root 100% Lash Mascara. I hope you enjoyed seeing my makeup collection. Let me know in the comment section down below what products you are most interested in hearing me talk about. A lot of them I have already talked about, so be sure to go and search on my YouTube homepage. You can search um, by product names and find videos where I've talked about those products. But if you see something that you know I've not talked about before, and I know a lot of you watch all my videos, so you probably know what you've not seen before. Um, do let me know what you're most interested in seeing down below and be sure to enter the giveaway and best of luck. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you like seeing green and eco and cruelty free beauty, subscribe to my channel. Also check out my Instagram. I'll have my handle down below. I'm at naturally beautiful girl. And once again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for helping me hit a thousand subscribers. You guys seriously are the best and I'll see you again soon.